talk a lot about using your vision on a motorcycle correctly here on MC Rider. <laughs> it's an important concept and one that should not be overlooked when riding a motorcycle. This week we'll talk about some of the key factors that affect our vision when we're riding. And what are you doing back there? Cleaning the carburetors on the BMW. It's fuel injected. Oh, sorry dude. Rock on. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, vision on a motorcycle. Where you look and not being distracted has a huge impact on our ability to navigate the streets. This week we'll see an example from a video submission from an MC Rider viewer, and we'll talk about the subject of vision on a motorcycle. Hey, my name's Kevin and I release a weekly video here on MC Rider focused on road skills or road strategy to help you become a better rider. Become a member of MC Rider and get access to even more tools to help you stay sharp and develop your skills on two wheels. So are you ever distracted when you're riding on a motorcycle or do you catch yourself looking at one thing when you should be focused on something else, commonly referred to as target fixation? Well, even if you haven't realized it yet, in the opening of this video, I gave an example of what I'm talking about. When Squid's back there, was in the background of the opening and he was distracting us all, a sign popped up in front of me. Did you see it? Well, leave a message below and tell everyone what the sign said. And even if you didn't see it, you can go back to the opening and watch it again, just so I can prove to you that it was there. This time you'll know where to look when you go back the second time and what to look for. But either way, leave a comment below in the video. I'd be interested to see who saw it the first time. So riding a motorcycle offers a lot of distractions, especially riding in traffic. Cars in intersections, cars merging into our lane, the potential car that may make a left turn in front of us, knowing where to look and keeping your eyes moving and not fixating on a potential threat has a huge impact on our ability to use our road strategy effectively. Well, let's look at this video sent in by an MC Rider viewer where he used his vision to avoid a potential bad situation. These are Bennett's own words describing the scenario. The incident, heavy opposing stop and go traffic, a vehicle wanting to turn left in a gap in the lineup. As I approached, I could see the vehicle moving. Watching the wheels was a great tip. I had a, to brake hard and swerve a bit it could have ended in a nasty broadside. My instincts kicked in and all was good. There is a caveat, I was distracted and wanting to greet the other bikes. Not a good idea in heavy traffic. Okay, so that's what Bennett had to say about the situation. Now let's go watch the video that he sent in. So Bennett admits that there was some distraction going on with the other motorcycles around, but in spite of that, I think he does a really good job in this situation. Let's look at the positives that I see from this video. First look at how soon he applies the brakes in this situation. That tells me that he was looking ahead and he knew where the threat was and what to look for. Notice that he separates the braking from the swerve. If he was still heavy on the brakes when he did make that minor swerve, he could have crashed all on his own trying to react to that car. He mentions that he saw the tires of the car and gathered some information from what their intention was from that. He had a good following distance with the vehicle in front of him so he wasn't right up on the bumper of somebody else giving him more time to see and to avoid a bad situation. And his speed differential between himself and the traffic around him was not excessive so if traffic around you stopped or moving slowly like it was in this situation, you don't want to be flying around them at a high rate of speed because you're just asking for trouble. So really the only critique I see in this is, is possibly his lane position could have been better. If he had moved more to the right in this situation, he would have given himself more room between himself and the stop traffic and he would have opened up his ability to be seen and to see more going up the road because it would have gotten further away from that traffic. But overall, I think this was a good example of using road strategy and road skills to turn a potential crash into a story from the road 
and that's what we're always looking for in these types of scenarios. Well, here's some tips to help you the next time you go out for a ride. Keep your following distance. Like he was in this video with the vehicle in front of you, this buys you time and space for those unexpected things on the road. Don't fixate on one thing. So if he had fixated on the motorcycles, which he did say he was distracted by, he may not have seen that car coming out in time to do what he did. So keep your eyes moving so that you can see that car early when they do pull out. Use your lane position to see and be seen better. Be careful who you listen to on YouTube about riding a motorcycle. This guy, he was an instructor. Don't listen to me. I play pipe organ in a metal band. Rock on. And until next week, guys, it's Ken with MC Rider, and I'll see you on the road.